What up? Welcome back. Happy holidays to everybody. Sorry I didn't see you guys for the Christmas, over the Christmas break, or uh, well, I guess it's still the Christmas break, but uh, before Christmas or on Christmas, um, telling you guys Merry Christmas right now, Happy New Year's, and welcome back to the channel. So for today, what I'm going to do is, uh, the toe is kind of off on the front of the MR2. I know it's not going anywhere, but the toe is off and I don't want to um, leave it like that for now. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean here in a second. But for now, the plan is to just adjust the toe on that and get it situated so that whenever I get the other stuff, I could drive it out the garage a bit and until I take it to get an alignment. So this is what it looks like. As you can see on the passenger side, it's pretty much straight, as straight as possible, as straight as it could be. And then on the driver's side, you see how it toes out a bit there in the front. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna straighten the steering wheel as much as possible, and I'm gonna jack the front up, and then I'm gonna just angle both wheels in as much as I could go. So what I'll do is, I'll put the steering wheel straight, like that see if I straighten the steering wheel and here you can see that the driver side is semi straight it could probably come in just a little bit and the passenger side is out just a little bit itself you can see how the it angles off the fender fender and it comes out way more on this side than it does on this side. So that's why I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna straighten it up a bit. And the reason why I could tell is because the back part is way in over here compared to on this side where the back part is more flush. But I'm gonna try to straighten both of them up and see if I can get that knocked out right now. On the MR2, adjusting the toe is super easy to do. What you're gonna do is you just take the front bumper off and this right here, you get two, uh, two wrenches, hold this, undo that, and then you just twist this inwards. So you twist it this way, and it will bring the front part in. Twist it down, push the front part out, bring the back part in. And the same thing on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna measure the front from here all the way to the other side, and I measure the back from here all the way to the other side. And I basically want them dead center, so, once I get them even, find the spot on the tire, I can measure from here all the way over. I could even measure this thread right here, all the way from like this thread, all the way to the other side. And what I want is, I want the front part here, and then the back part on this side of the tire to be the same, to be the same measurement. And once you do that, you know that you're dead set at zero. All right, so I just did the measurement. I have my son down here. And basically, the front, the front right here, the front right there, and then now the back of the tire, just behind it, back there, were off by like half an inch. So that's why I wanted to fix it. All right, so we got this done. Um, this side is pretty much lined up. It's pretty much lined up on this side as well. So. I went ahead and measured it and they're about even there might be a couple centimeters off but it's nothing serious like it was it was about an inch off before like this side and this side the front they were towed out about an inch so it's pretty even right now and it's uh the wheels are towed in that way just a little bit but it's nothing major car could roll a lot better with that go ahead and show you how it looks from the front from the side See, it's pretty even there. And then we show the other side. And then from this side, you can see it's pretty much even again. It's uh, not too bad. You get a little bit of tire poke, but it's nothing major. So I went ahead and I showed you guys and knocked that out. So I got the toe lined up a little bit. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to go more in depth of what's going to come for 2019. So stay tuned. All right, the reason why I went ahead and fixed that is because every time I open my garage, I would see this tire right here poked out that way, like that way. And this tire right here would also poke out that way. As you can see, this bumper right here, 
and it sticks out at the bottom due to the lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to build a little bracket. I'm going to measure the other side, build a little bracket, and I'll put it on the inside here of the bumper to pull this bumper in inwards. I'll just mount it on the tab right there and pull it inwards and the bumper will stay still. And I'll do the same thing for this side because, you know, once you're driving, you're going to get the bumper going like this. The bump right here will be flapping around like that as soon as wind hit it. And we don't want that, so that's the next step is to fix that. But we're not going to do that today. Alright, so that was a quick little update video. So, what I was talking about what's coming for 2019 is I got a lot of big things planned. Like, the main focus, I said in a couple videos before, the main focus is to finish the MR2 here uh, that includes um, not painted but I need to get it started driving and get it tuned this year and I want to do that by summertime um, the focus on the RSX I need to get the complete suspension finished for the RSX I need to get the suspension redone I need to get new coilovers and springs or whatever it may be to so the car doesn't bottom out when I drive it and I plan to get a new project, maybe a hatch or a uh, EG, EK, something that won't be until after the MR2 is started. So once I get the MR2 started, I plan to do a, get a new project and uh, make something cool again. I'll probably end up getting an Evo sometime soon. I've been debating between an Evo or RX-7, so we'll see what it, what it is. Uh, but that will be after, like later on during the year. I don't plan to do that right now. So look forward to that and come back to the channel. Subscribe and uh, check it out. Make sure you guys stop by the storefront. Link below. Get a sticker and uh, slap it on your car. Slap it on your toolbox. Slap it on your rig. Slap it on whatever you might want to put it on. And uh, that'll be it for today. Come back. Check me out. Peace.